Hello and welcome to the video on stratified random sample. This is our second sampling method that we've talked about. Okay, the first being a simple random sample, SRS. This is a stratified random sample. Okay, and, and basically what this method is, I'll show you. Okay, we have a population. Okay, so what we do is first before we take our sample we go ahead and slice our population into similar groups or homogeneous groups and we call these groups strata so this would be strata 1 strata 2 Hold on. Okay, so uh, that's strata two. Or that's that strata three, and this is gonna go on and on. Okay, so what I did is I split my population up to these strata, and what a strata is is a homogeneous group. Homogeneous group. Okay, or a similar group. Okay, so then what I do is once I split these into groups, I reach into each group and I take an SRS. I reach into this group and take an SRS from strata 2, reach into this group, strata 3, and so on. Oh, that's an SRS. Okay, and then this would be SRS. I'll call it K. This would be strata k and that just means that it depends on how many groups you split up to in a population you can split it up into two strata two strata would be men and fe fe uh, men and women okay so then what i do is i take all these srs's and combine them for one big sample okay and when would we use this we actually use these a lot okay so let's let's start off with this and let's say we have this population and the population is okay that's one thing you want to get good at doing is determining the population but the population is um, a, a college campus college campus okay and let's say the college campus consists of 50,000 people and we know that uh, there's 40 percent women and and then 60 percent men and basically, they're taking a poll. We're taking a poll of 100 people. And we're asking them uh, whether they want more football. More football. Okay? So, so if I take 100 people using an SRS, so let's just think about this. If I take a pe 100 people using an SRS, now we know SRSs are going to represent, the, po the sample should pretty much represent the population so if you randomly pick a hundred people okay how many women do you how many women do you expect okay we expect around 40 out of the hundred because I'm picking a hundred people how many men do you expect we expect about 60 okay but this is not guaranteed this is not a guarantee okay this is not a guarantee now what happens would you be surprised if we got if if we ended up with 45 girls and we ended up with 55 guys would you be surprised using an SRS no you wouldn't be surprised and now look this might skew our results maybe somewhat because um, these people might not want the f more football or the, these 55 you know may want more football okay so so basically all I'm doing is when I do this out of these hundred what I do is I split I split these in the strata okay so I just cut this real quick and I take all the women I get a list I get a sampling frame with all the I get a sampling frame with all the women and I get a sampling frame with all the men okay and I take an SRS of this strata this is my strata, 
with all my women. Okay, and I go ahead and take 40% of 100, so I go ahead and pick 40. So I pick 40. And then I take my, my uh, uh, sampling frame for the men, and I take 60% of 100, which would be, I go ahead and pick 60 men. Now, my sample is, uh, the, the percentages are perfect, okay? My sample makes up the exact percentages of my population. So I have 100, where I have 40 girls and 60 guys, which represents my population. Now, what benefit does this do? This reduces, reduces sampling variability. Sampling variability. It reduces the, the differences from sample to sample. Because if you look at an SRS, look, this, see, see, so this is a good example. Let me show you how, how this works a little more. If you have 45 women and 55 guys, okay, this might, this might be a little over for bad. This might be for less football. Because the women may may tend not to want the football, so that could be on one sample. Now, would you be surprised if there were 65 guys and 35 girls? Okay, if you if you had 65 guys and 35 girls, no. So th this one might be more football. Okay, so these little differences between these strata, how many are strata use it? Well, in this case, we're taking an SRS, so they're not strata because I'm not splitting them up first, but see the differences between my, in this case, it would be maybe P hats, okay? Where if you look at an SRS, an SRS is gonna have 40 women, 60 guys. If I took another sample, I'm gonna have 40 women, 60 guys. 40 women, all my samples have 40, 60, 40, 60, 40, 60, okay? So the change from this sample to this sample to this sample to this sample, the sample, 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 will be less than from this sample to this sample, etc. okay? Could you have a 40, 60? Yes, we could have a 40, 60, okay? This one might be, uh, you know, it could be something like, 4357 but the differences from these samples will be will be more in this case with the SRS than with the stratified sample okay we're gonna be doing a lot of examples with uh, stratified random sample as you can see it's very very important when we're talking about age could be a strata race in, in companies is definitely uh, a big one um, age race how much money you make um, all these different categories, okay, could be used as strata, okay? So that's it. Thanks for watching, and have a nice day.